This is Max Williams with United Real Estate and today I'm in Henrico County. More specifically, I am in the near West End. Today we're going to take a look at a four bedroom, two and a half bath Dutch Colonial. This Dutch Colonial is located here in a very popular part of Henrico County. This uh, arguably is one of the more expensive sections of Metro Richmond area. Uh, this home is newly renovated and we've got a few features here that I noticed right off the bat. Uh, the first uh, being the fact that we've got a low maintenance yard. Uh, you could probably cut this front yard here in all of about 10 minutes. A weed eater would uh, definitely knock that little patch out right there. Uh, if there is a teenager in the household, I'm sure they will appreciate that. This home is a vinyl exterior on the front and we have all brick on all three sides so a uh, pretty interesting a uh, combination there the rear yard is fenced uh, we've got good privacy here uh, in the rear and uh, this is an extremely convenient location you are halfway between the city of richmond and western henrico uh, so a lot of people really love this area uh, you've got some really neat quaint shops uh, not far a larger hospital is uh, not far either. We've got a new dimensional roof here and these tanks, I wanted to talk about these propane tanks here. Uh, the city and the county, this part of the county I believe, does have natural gas. However, we have got a whole house generator. The whole house generator kicks on immediately in the event of loss of primary power and it's going to be fueled by those two propane tanks. So a uh, very nice benefit and especially in the winter when we have uh, the risk of uh, power outages. You can see we've got a nice screened porch here. And this porch uh, is great because you could use it uh, several seasons. Uh, there is a glass sliding door as well as screens. So you can open those screens up and use uh, that fan to circulate some air. A uh, very nice feature. Sit back there and relax and enjoy the backyard. Let's go on in and take a look. I know everyone is not a huge fan of open floor plans, so uh, that's one of the things about the older homes is that we have a nice variation. So I like to bring you a variety of different styles and price points and of course locations. Directly ahead is our living room. That's actually going to be a formal living room. Straight back to the hallway. It's going to take us to the rear of the home of course our stairs going up and here to the right is going to be our formal dining room please note we've got chair rail crown molding in place i love this nice navy blue our floors are absolutely stunning here in this home we're going to have wood floors here throughout very common of when this home was built for uh, builders to go ahead and do all hardwood floors all right we're going to transition now to our kitchen before we go there we do have a thermostat there. This home does have dual zone heating and air. We've got a separate unit for up and downstairs. Here in our renovated kitchen, directly ahead is the space for your dinette. We have a door going off the side. Real interesting light fixture here in the middle of the kitchen with Edison bulb. Uh, love the furnishings here uh, in the kitchen. We've got uh, some nice molding here up at the top of these cabinets, of course, our stainless range hood, uh, interesting scallop style backsplash coupled by a nice granite top, the white and the gray, the nice deep sink. Our microwave is in place here. Now this is interesting. Our microwave here is placed up eye level. The last time we saw a stainless range hood they put it in the island of course we don't have an island here uh, so it's nice to see that they didn't forget about the microwave and still were able to put that into this beautiful kitchen our ge refrigerator has ice and water in the door and uh, i think a really nicely appointed fridge directly ahead is going to be our pantry and you can see this home is partially staged they have set it up there to illustrate Directly to the right is going to be our closet. And uh, so this, of course, would serve uh, as a closet. We've got the front door here that's just a few feet away. 
I'm going to take you now into the laundry room section, but before we go there, we do have a powder room conveniently located right here. Once again, we pick up that nice navy blue on that vanity. And a dedicated laundry slash utility room. We've got a door going out to the rear. Your washer dryer would go there. Plenty of room up on that wall for some additional storage. Here on the opposite side, I could see a folding table perhaps going right there. Our electric water heater and our downstairs heat pump. Uh, that's a carrier unit. It actually looks pretty new is in place. Now this breaker box here, this is actually to that outdoor whole house generator. So we've got extra breakers here uh, if your system, if your electrical panel were to uh, fail or not have power going to it, that system would automatically kick in. So it's super convenient. Uh, very important if someone has medical devices, um, of course, if you have a freezer full of food, very important to try to maintain electricity so you don't uh, lose money as a result of that. Okay, we're now in our informal section. This is our family room and this is a nice space as we transition here to the screen porch now we just talked about this this is plenty of space here uh, to put some wicker furniture perhaps uh, you got that ceiling fan and uh, really nice and bright so nice addition here to this first level all right we're going to go upstairs and take a look on the second level uh, here in the last uh, few videos, people have, have chimed in and said, oh, that house is not worth X number of dollars. And actually, most of the homes that I show are renovated homes. Uh, the people that are doing them are, in many cases, they're in the business uh, in one capacity or another, and they've done their homework. They know what houses are selling for. Uh, real estate is very much statistically driven. So I can show you many of these areas on average are selling for around 100% or high 90% range of asking price. So while you may not be willing to pay X number of dollars or don't think that that is a reasonable price, all it takes is one person to be willing and able to pay the asking price and boom, that means that home is market value. So remember with most of these homes, if they are getting finance an appraiser basically we'll have the final say. They're gonna do a detailed report justifying how a price is or is not justified. And uh, they are independent, they get paid whether a house appraises for $100 or for $500,000, they still get paid. So it's a system of checks and balances in our system. Remember the number one factor when it comes to value is going to be location. Of course, I'm all over the place uh, with some of these homes. These areas are not equal when it comes to the average price per square foot. And that's how we compare homes of different size. We look at the price per square foot. Okay, this is going to be bedroom number three. Really good size bedrooms here. You could definitely get a king size bed in here with no problem. We've got plenty of closet space, as you can see as well. This is not the primary bedroom so this is really nice to see a large uh, bedroom here uh, in an older house like this and these are actually two separate closets that'll keep the harmony in the home by having two separate closets okay there is that second thermostat i mentioned this is a two zone home that's zone number two here on the second level we've got a linen closet right there and this is going to be our upstairs heat pump. Okay, love what they did with this hall bath. We've got the Edison bulbs, a nice uh, wood grain look for the mirrors, and then our vanity tops pick up perfectly that distressed look on the vanity. So really love what they did there. As I spin around, we've got a tile tub shower area tile goes all the way to the ceiling and we also have a closet now this i was expecting a linen closet but this is actually a full-blown closet um so you could of course put shelving in there if desired but um if you wanted to actually 
hang clothes in there, you could do that too. All right, this is going to be our primary bedroom right here at the top of the steps. And this is a nice size. You can see we are a rectangular shape. Uh, this is a queen size bed that the home is currently staged with. And uh, there is just plenty of additional space uh, you can see there on either side uh, for a much, much larger bed. Once again, the beautiful wood floors are throughout here on the second level. We've got that propeller style ceiling fan and this closet does not disappoint either. Remember, older homes typically weren't known for uh, large or walk-in closets, but we definitely have a nice one here, uh, which is very helpful. And our primary bath is gonna be right here. This is similar styling to the hall bath that we saw. We've got that uh, tile that goes all the way up once again. Uh, notice the modern fixtures. This um, brass look is definitely uh, back in style. And uh, once again, I love what they did here with that vanity top, vanity combination. Looks really good together. You've got the, uh, the push button toilet, uh, one or two. I think those are pretty self-explanatory. Okay, love what they did here. If you have questions about this or any other home in the market, my name is Max Williams. It would be an honor for me to help. Please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. I really love hearing from you. Uh, let me know your thoughts. If you or someone you know has real estate needs, whether they be here in the Metro Richmond area or anywhere in the country, be sure to let me know. We would love to help them. Max Williams, 804-402-7788. Thanks so much for taking the tour. Y'all be safe. Have a great day.